there's Bulu and a Feeny. We're fighting a lot more Bulu Feeny. And I have a Garchomp that has a Poison Jab now, so I feel like I'm ready to fight the Feenies. These guys know Intimidators, so I think if I go Garchomp, uh, Coco, I could just Thunderbolt all the things needed to get Thunderbolted. Or even Discharge. Or even Discharge. Oh, that's so good. I'm so ahead right now. Garchomp, Coco. And then, I mean, Butterfree still technically works here, but I don't need it. Butterfree did exactly what I wanted it to last game and just work as redirection. I'll bring the Lele. Lele deals damage. He has Trick Room and Porygon. You're right. I have to watch out for the Porygon Trick Room. Maybe I should leave with Butterfree. You guys think this screams Trick Room? It does scream Trick Room just a little bit, doesn't it? So what if I do this? What if I go Butterfree Garchomp? And then just go Lele Coco in the back? Yeah. Because that stops Trick Room. I can just switch in and just pop the, uh, I can just take it, switch up my Garchomp for something else. Like something like my Lele and just uh, use Sleep Powder on the Porygon. Yeah, I think that's a lot better. But it's just like he has the Tapu Fini, which puts up like a Safeguard, which blocks Sleep Powder. And he has a Bulu, which blocks Sleep Powder all by itself. But Butterfree is a good Pokemon here. The redirection's good, and I just don't want to risk him getting the Trick Room up. And he isn't locked in yet. Maybe he like got randomed. So if we see Feeny Golseopod, that means he got, like, randomed. We'll see. Maybe that's just his play. Maybe he just brings his first four every time. Hmm. Let's see. Porygon Bulu. Okay, he's fine with me. This is exactly what I want. This is exactly what I want. I want to see if this Bulu lives through the Poison Jab, and I want to see that Porygon go to bed. I guess worst case scenario here, he switches out his Bulu for um, Feeny, and he puts a Trick Room up. That'd be lame. Poison Jab the Bulu. He thinks he's so safe right now. And Sleep out of the Porygon. What do you got, bro? What do you got, Uncle Lou? Let us see. Just stay in. I just want to test this. I just want to know how much damage this does. Dude, Garchomp is such a cool Pokemon. I mean, it's by far the best Dragon type. That's like not a legendary, I think. Anyone that says says like it's not is wrong. He's taking the full timer. I think this is one of those guys that takes like the time to do stuff. Bulu protects. Hey, nothing wrong with protecting here. We're all friends here. And Poison Jab gets blocked. Mm -hmm. He might switch that out next turn. But Sleep Powder hits on Porygon. That's the good stuff. Alright, I'm just going to switch out my Butterfree next turn for Lele so I can start dealing damage. And also, like, if he switches in, like, Marowak or something. So Poison Jab over there. I think he's going to switch the Marowak in. Alright, let's see. Unless he just thinks he can eat my Poison Jab with his, like, Grass Fairy four times weak to Poison. Now let's see. Hmm. It's one turn sleep with the Porygon. If he sleeps for this turn and doesn't get his Trick Room up, but if he doesn't get just like the one turn sleep, uh, I can probably KO it next turn. With the Lele Garchomp combo, like Dragon Claw plus Psychic, I can probably do it. No, I, I would pop my Z move to make sure, for sure. Alright, Butterfree switching. It means it's faster than Bulu if it comes down to it. If the, Bulu, if the Bulu's even switching. Oh, dude, he just, can you, does he just think he can fight me? I don't believe he, I thinks he can. He does, he just wants to fight me, alright. Do you live? <sighs> oh, man, that's so good. Doesn't that just feel good? Ah, oh, and he's still asleep. Alright, I'm gonna nuke that slot. I don't even care what he sends out. I don't even care, because, like, a lot of the time, uh, Porygons don't have Protect. So it's not like he's gonna wake up Protect. It's not as common. They usually just pack Recover. So we'll see. See what he sends out. I'm expecting Feeny here. But I don't think that'll be enough to save the Porygon. It's actually really close. And if he doesn't send out the Feeny, I'll guarantee that the Porygon goes down. But we'll see. You wouldn't even really want to send Feeny out to fight a poison driving thing either. That's not, like, safe as well. 
But we're waiting on him. We're going to see what he goes for. Gold Seal Pot. Okay, cool. Yeah, I could care less about this. I have, like, first impression can't work because I have two Pokemon on the ground in Lele's Psychic Terrain. So we're just going to nuke up that Porygon. Tectonic Rage. And that big Psychic. Alright, let's see what he goes for. I think he's just going to go for the priority move and not know that it fizzles. I think that's what's going to happen here. But either way, he's going second. Like, either way, I'm getting my attacks off before, unless Porygon wakes him and protects. Yep, no protects. So I want this to do around 40 to 50%. It's kind of good also testing this Calc, because we'll see if he's like full specialty or full uh, defense. I would say he's probably full defense, because there's no Intimidators on his team. If as far as I remember. Big damage. Yep, about 50%. And then Psychic should be able to finish off. Remember, this is Life Orb stabbed in the Psychic terrain. It's just enough to take it out. It usually does about 60%. Cool. Now what's he going for? He can go for anything. He goes for liquidation. Yo, that's fine. Garchomp did its job, and you're not even going to get the KO, and you take that rough skin damage, and he's like orbed, I think. Yeah. Dude, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good about this game. And Aquariate is here. Alright, so... I'm going to do this. I'm going to poison Jack. Oh, I can't. He can't get forced out. The Ghostiopod can't get forced out. Well... Because he's uh, the last Pokemon. That's the best way to use that Pokemon. Is they can't you can't switch if you're like the last Pokemon. <laughs> now I'll just do that. And then who am I more afraid of? Let's just split it then. Because I have four things left. I can do whatever I want. We'll do like half on half, and then just send out Tapu Koko, and you should be able to finish it out. That was a crit. Oh, am I am I not judging his typing correctly? Alright, well, I might have messed this one up, but I'm still okay. Dude, liquidation double. So much damage. Way more damage than the other guy did. I'm gonna check that guy's typing. A leech life. Oh, he's... He's a, he's a bug. It should be super effective. If I'm not mistaken. Alright, what the hell do I have left? I have Coco. Yeah. Save me, my son. No longer correct terrain, but it's no big deal. What type are you? You're bug water. My poison jab should have been super effective. Water bubble. Oh, okay. Alright, here we go. This should be a game. Oh, wait, he can just freaking... I'm, I'm wrong. It's not a game, but like, because I messed up the terrains and he can use Aqua Jet now. But I'm still going to win. I'm trying to bait him into wide guarding here. But, oh, I'm an idiot. I'm sorry. Sorry, friends. There we go. There we go, we won. Still won. Alright, easy money. Easy game. Cool. 